y'all it's maddie from the itty bitty homestead committee i am filming this on new year's day january 1st so i just wanted to say happy new year to you all and hopefully you know 2022 brings y'all something great and that y'all had an amazing new year's i also want to show you we had our first big snow this past evening and i wanted to show you how pretty it is All right, so let's get into today's video. How am I going to improve my rabbit tree and 2022? Let's hop into it. The first thing I wanna do this year is I wanna take more of my rabbits to show. And that's because I want to proof them, right? I wanna show that these guys, you know, have some great genes and that they are competitive amongst their peers, right? So one of the babies I'm taking to one of our shows is this one. Uh, this is Sadie. Sadie is one of my caster does. She's going to be in a junior class because when we go here on the 14th of January to our show, which I'm hoping to get some vlog footage of, um, she's going to be one of two that I am taking. And I'm really hopeful for her. Um, she needs to put on a little more weight for me to be 100% happy with her. So she has a really nice little body. She has a really nice point. She's a little forward on her point than what I like, but I think that she's going to be pretty competitive as long as we keep weight on her. Right now I have her on a free feed just to help her fill out a little more for a junior class. And then hopefully as she gets a little older, I can easily put her into a senior class. I don't really show casters, but she has some nice banding. Um, it's about 50-50. Great on the banding. She has tiny ears. And she has a nice full rump. Bit of a scenery change for you. I just wanted to show you the other doe that I'm looking at taking to show. And she, again, is going to be in the junior class. And that's Penguin. She is a prospect for my Broken Lines. Um, and also a prospect for our Dilute Lines. So I'm not sure what she carries. I haven't done a test breeding on her yet. But dependent on what she throws, dependent on is dependent on what I'm going to put her in. So I don't know why, but Penguin was fighting me kind of hard today when it came to posing practice. But I just wanted to show you that she's um, she's a nice looking rabbit. She's a little long in the shoulder than what I prefer, but she does have a nice point and she has a nice well-rounded um, hind quarter. I just wish her shoulder was a bit stronger. But other than that, I'm pretty excited to show her in the upcoming show. So the next thing I want to work on this upcoming year are my blue-eyed white programs. And as opposite to a blue-eyed white, as Solstice comes, she is going to be the new future brooder of our blue-eyed white program. And unfortunately, I will not be showing Solstice because Solstice is what's called Vienna marked. She has the slightest smudge of white right here on her forehead, which is a disqualification for um, black colored rabbits. But because she is a black colored rabbit, her type um, is a huge improvement to blue eyed white and Vienna programs. So she is going to be the future mom of our blue eyed whites, hopefully. I have a Vienna marked buck up in the house right now who um i will either be reading her or her um her children to depending on what we're going to get but i'm super excited to have her in our breeding program for her typing and if nothing else she is going to be super super useful in my dilute program um she carries a um, chocolates hopefully and then hopefully she also has a uh, carrying uh, dilute gene so if she proves to not have what i am looking for in my blue eyed white program we could try her for one of those programs um i am not fond of breeding vienna markings into my dilutes to be honest um and that is just because um, for typing, you want to have a stronger type. Um, most black rabbits are what they suggest breeding into your blue eyed white program. So that's why she's here. And I really wish that she, um, she could be shown. I'm just really nervous about taking her 
and you can't it doesn't if you're looking at her in the camera it, it doesn't transfer right you don't see the the marking on her forehead but like i see it it's there and it's so light i don't want to take her to show put her up on a table and then her get DQ'd for such a small thing when I can take another rabbit to show to take her place and actually know that I can place somewhere without such a simple DQ. So she is going to be our brooder for the blue eyed white program. So, and she's such a good girl. She's so soft and lovable. Oh, so soft. Mm. Yeah, such a good baby. I'm super excited. I'm going to be breeding her probably February. So uh, look forward to those babies. February babies are the best babies. February babies are the best babies. So yeah. Such a good fur. Such a good fur. Yes. And that's another thing too, right? Um, Blue eye whites are also um, known for not having the best fur quality. So you want to breed in... Um, one of the colors that has been refined and has a better fur quality and she is a nice dense fur type so she definitely would be an improvement to my lines so uh and in case you're curious uh this is actually um sally and coco's uh baby so this is uh litter number two this year or litter number two from 2021 so that's who she's out of so um, I'd probably breed her back to Coco and then I would take one of her babies and, uh, breed it back to her. Or if I want to work on my dilute lines, I, you know, I would breed her to Psy. But like I said, right now I'm going to see if I can reserve her for my blue eyed white program because I'm, I'm not sure about putting her into a chocolate program. We'll see what kind of baby she has. Cause even though she's a Vienna carrier, she may not produce blue eyed whites because if i take her and i breed her to another vienna carrier we'll get 25 percent blue eyed whites and then we'll get 50 percent carriers and we'll get 25 percent non-carriers and unless they have obvious markings where they're vienna carriers you don't know if they're vienna carriers unless you do a test breeding oh you're so fat you're so fat where are you going where are you going All right, let's talk about my newest endeavor for rabbits. Um, this is my first time working with Rex rabbits. Not mini Rex, but Rex Rex, right? So they aren't really my forte, but I wanted something that was going to fill up my freezer faster, right? I am... I am disappointed in my Rex lines right now. And that is because I bought a junior trio this year for breeding. So this is alpha. And then I have one and two in my garage and, um, they aren't growing out like I want them to. And this little bugger keeps spraying his head with pee. I don't know why. I don't know why he has to put pee on his head other than to attract the ladies. But, um, he loves his ladies. Um, not that he's actually got to breed yet. And that's because my does are six months old and they are four pounds, seven ounces and four pounds, 12 ounces. So I'm disappointed in their growing. Um, granted, I, uh, talking to a bunch of Rex breeders, they suggest not breeding out your Rex till they hit about nine months, uh, just for like body maturity and everything. But at the, at the same time, I expected them to be bigger. So my main goal for these guys, I won't be showing these guys this year. Um, and if I do, it'll probably be towards the end of the year. But I don't feel comfortable showing them as they are. And I'm going to work on the uh, future generations, getting them to be uh, faster growers. So this is quite a project this year. And when I do get kits out of these guys, I'm going to focus on keeping the biggest and fastest growing. I think that is going to be the goal for my Rex this year. And then maybe in the future, like maybe in the future we'll focus on showing. He has okay type. Um, I, I love this little rabbit. This is uh, this is alpha. I love this little rabbit. He's, he's a sweet boy and he has gorgeous, gorgeous fur when he isn't covered in pee.
I, I'm excited to breed him to see what he he's giving me because he is a lot bigger than the girls. He's about a pound and a half bigger than the girls, so he's about six pounds, um, which is a lot better in my mind. Um, I normally want my average to be about eight or nine pounds, so he has a little growing to do yet, but he is filling out faster than the girls. So, you know, that is beneficial on this end. But I want to work on uh, their growth rates.